Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today we have an unboxing and this one is from Craft Buddy Crystal Art and I've got some different bits and pieces to show you. Okay, let's get into it and have a look. Right, so okay, we've got a sunflower stamp. I will be showing you how to use those. Uh, great for using up your spare crystals. Okay, and um, we have our free gift. So at the moment, uh, at the time of this video being made, which is the beginning of May uh, 2021, um, if you spend £20 on the Craft Buddy website, then you do get this uh, sticker set as a free gift. Uh, invoice and we have a different little picture kit and um, I've been wanting this one for a while and it's just come back in stock so I've got a, a nice little picture kit that we'll go through and then I've stocked up on some basics now these are crystal art magic glue and um, they are great for sticking gems on that um, have come off your canvases or if you've got a bit of canvas that's not quite sticky enough you can use them yeah, it does say uh, apply apply a thin layer of glue on your work surface sorry I haven't got my glasses on with a brush the glue will remain permanently tacky and dry and dry clear wait for the glue to become completely clear before adding glitter, foil, rhinestones or other embellishments. I think this glue is similar to the glue that they put on the poured glue canvases and you possibly may be able to make like a little mini sticker or a mini canvas using it but I am going to do a video trying it um, and we'll have a look together and see how it works but yeah I think a thin layer of this will make a picture tacky so that then you can put your gemstones on so possibly when you're using your crystal art stamps you'll be able to um, use this and apply it over the top and then stick your gems on rather than having to put glue separately on your canvas um, once it's gone clear so we'll have a look at that together but I wanted to try this because it's something I know other companies do do it um, and if you've got a double-sided tape canvas um, which isn't good you can take the double-sided tape off and use poured glue on them now whether this would work on that I don't know but we'll have a look and we'll have a go with this okay so that's one of my basics that I've stocked up on and then this is a huge let's get this box out of the way tub of the crystal art sealer now I normally only like to get the smaller ones um, this one is 150 mils and I normally only get this size um, because I'm not good at keeping the lids clean and getting the lids off and I find that I prefer to work with the smaller ones but I have done an awful lot of crystal arts recently and um, projects and wreaths and things like that so I thought I would get the bigger one oh, if I can get into the box come on frame Liz so that I can use that. Look at that big daddy there. Wow. And that's a 400 mil one. So that's your standard 150 mil and that's your larger 400 mil. And this is you apply a thin layer over, um, say, your key rings, uh, your stickers if they're going to go on bags, any of your stamped crystal art that you've done that you're going to be using say, on notebooks or coasters or anything like that. And then I would use it for your wreaths, your Christmas wreaths, Easter wreaths, things like that. And I am going to seal my little Easter chicken set as well, my acrylic Easter chicken set. Um, so, yeah, I've got a lot to seal at the moment, so I thought I would get the big, big one. <laughs> OK, just give you the instructions on the side as well, telling you how to use those. So that's my little basics that I've got there. And now let's have a look. I've been dying to see this. I used to have a little Westie called Harvey, he was my first ever dog and it just reminds me of him, the little face. So this one is in a clear um, acrylic case, it's still all nicely packaged. You've got your details on the back of what you've got in your package there, your social media details, uh, Facebook and Instagram there um, and it tells you what it is but yeah, 
and this one comes with a separate frame rather than it actually being on a canvas so i wanted to have a look at this as well because i've not had one of these before and i wanted to have a try so let's see if we can get this out of this box okay oh yeah we've got scotty dogs at the minute but as i say my very first dog was a little westy called harvey oh oh this is on like um board it's like uh oh i don't know can you see there it's like a board so that makes it a really good canvas to work on again with these um you can't use a, a light box with them because you obviously the light's not going to shine through um but you can i've got a like a magnifying lamp that i use now all the time or i sometimes use some of those glasses you know that have got um the magnifier on and a light on but to be fair even with my eyesight i can see this drill field it is really really clear but look at that little face it just so much looks like my little harvey oh bless him he was a right little character real tough nut i'll insert a picture of him down below so you can see so and then you get your frame as well with this one okay so let's have a look at this frame it's one of the good frames that are easy to put the picture in and out of which i like these are like if you get any of these small crystal art sets uh, that craft would do and small pictures the frames are like this let's just get rid of that packaging um where they've got the spring loaded little things rather than you know those little tabs that you have to pull up and push down and they end up snapping off and i end up breaking nails so these are real easy they just literally push down to the side and just spin out there look and then that comes out there and you would just literally once your picture's done pop that into your frame so it's all the right size pop the frame back on and then you just literally pop, push them down and push them in and it just secures your picture in place okay so you've got the choice on this you've got your hanging little st stops there or you can just stand it up it's got the uh, stand on the back as well so you've got your choice of how you hang that but that's lovely that little silver frame just makes that that's all it needs because this is really going to pop this is going to be so pretty when it's done oh bringing back so many memories of my little harvey is this one lovely little project to do this one so let's take that back out of the frame okay now this one it doesn't have um any perspex or any glass or anything on this frame so depending on where you're putting this picture you may or may not need to seal it with your craft buddy sealer um, if it's going say in a bathroom or some or a kitchen somewhere it's going to get steamy then you would need to seal it but other than that then these are nice and sticky so you, you wouldn't need to seal it um, if it's just hanging in say a bedroom or a living room oh okay so let's have a look yep it's a nice tacky uh, drill field there I say that is a really clear drill field and as you can see they've left the edge like a border around all the edges so when you put it into your frame it's not going to be covering your drills it will the but drills will just butt up to the side of the picture frame so that's good oh i love that little picture that little smiley face uh, you get your nice little instruction leaflet there telling you how to diamond paint okay in a few different languages again there so that's good okay and oh brilliant we have uh, dmc codes as well which is even better so we've got our little schematic key code here you've got your little thumbnail and it tells you that this is a full drill so the whole of the canvas has got uh, crystals put on this one again i will photocopy this because i like to keep these intact um, <laughs> I like, i've got a little book i will show you my book sometime um with all my different uh, picture blah, 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 blah with all my different projects in for you to see my mouth's not working this morning <laughs> okay uh we've got 
our little toolkit there which you've got your three place there you've got your wax there uh, about 20 bags if you want to use those the little ziploc bags and your little tray to get you started so everything you need to diamond paint and then we've got our lovely sparkly resin drills where is the end on this one come on this frame 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 let me have a look oh dear it's got to be there somewhere <laughs> there it is <laughs> oh dear ah i think they just do this deliberately just to trip me up <laughs> Okay, so let's start with these drills. Let's look at these lovely colours. Let's put our little, I'm going to call him Hal because he looks so much like Harvey. Oh, look at that little face. He's my boop boop noise. Okay, so I've got some good colours in this one. I've got your greys there, which are all going to be shading on your Westy and your background. We've got a lovely highlight of pink there, which is going to be your sky, which is just going to make this pop. We've got blues, got peaches, more pinks, not very much. Is that the 310? L is that 310? Yeah. Oh no, that's 3371. Oh, again, there's no 310s in this, no blacks in this. So yeah, mm, that's interesting. And then like your creamy white at the end there so there's no five two hundreds either in this so that's interesting doing a dog picture with no black and no bright white so it would be lovely to do this to see how it comes out all the different shading so i'm really pleased with that i love that but yeah that was uh, very different to what i was expecting i thought it would just be a canvas but it's on board it looks like a really good board let's measure it and see what size we are okay so so the actual board that goes in the frame is 21 centimetres, which is eight and a quarter inches by, uh, what's that, 25 centimetres, which is just under 10 inches. But the actual picture where you put your drills on your gems is 19 and a half half centimeters whoops oh that went in fast set my fingers off <laughs> what's that 23 and a half centimeters nine and a quarter inches so yeah it's a good size and your frame we'll measure the frame as well let's have a look at all of it while we're doing it okay so the frame is 21 and a half centimeters by 26 centimetres okay so a nice size frame oh, I love that oh I don't know what to do next now I've got so many that I want to do now that's the trouble I think when you do diamond painting everyone that you pick up you think oh I love it I want to do this one next okay let me pop those out of the way and we'll have a look at the stamp now I will have a closer look at these uh, in a separate video um I have got quite a few stamps and I'm going to do a video with them all being used. Um, but basically what you've got is a stamp that uh, has all like your little guide circles on it. Even on the right in here, look, you can see. And so what you can do is stamp this out with your uh, stamps onto paper, whatever you use, card. Um, and then you can colour the background and then you can put your gems, your drills, um, into these little circles again either using you could put this tacky um, all over it and let it go clear or you can use your uh, craft buddy crystal art glue uh, let's see if i've got one here yeah oh, i've got the lid cover there you can use this one and just put with your fine tip just put your dots where you want your gems to go um, and then you can put your gems your drills your crystal drills whatever you want to use on there and it just uses up all the ones that you've got left over which is a brilliant idea and um, again if you go onto the craft buddy facebook page there's some fantastic things that people have made with these but this is the sunflower i mean you could basically color that whatever color you want to do it they give you the guide as to 
what they've done on the front here as to what uh, you could use them for or what colours to use but basically it's your stamp you can colour it whatever stamp you want uh, whatever colour you want to do but yeah um, I'm not hugely into stamping I'm not brilliantly good at it but I really like these and I want to give them a go and I do want to use up some of my spare gems as well because I have got a lot uh, where's my tape measure gone there so let's just give this stamp a quick measure it is a good size stamp so that is about three and three quarter inches which is nine just under 10 centimeters that way by nine centimeters that way which is three and a half inches so that is a big stamp if you can see size of my hand compared to it uh yeah so they're brilliant i mean you don't have to use gems on them you could just color them over um, but yeah, I think they're a really good way to use up spare gems. So I will be doing a video on those. So watch this space. If you subscribe um, and press the bell next to the subscribe button down here, um, then you will be notified when my videos come up and you'll be able to see me using these. Let's pop that one out of the way. And then finally, it is just the free sticker set. I have shown one of these in a previous video. Um, so these at the time of this being made are uh, the free gift if you spend £20. So, oh, just bear with me. And I'm back. Sorry about that. That was just the nurse coming to look after hubby um, and look at his dressings and everything. So, yeah, right. We were on the freebie gift. So, yeah, this is um, available uh, on Craft Buddy website with uh, purchases over £20 at the moment. So it's a really good free gift. There's a little thank you from them. Okay, we'll get rid of that plastic. Right. So we have 10 stickers, all nice jungly themed. Uh, we've got a cheese plant uh, there, or a banana plant, whichever. A flamingo, watermelon, uh, a toucan, a cockatoo, uh, a butterfly, a nice drink. I hope that's an alcoholic cocktail in a coconut there. Um, like a palm leaf, big leaf, um, a tropical flower, I don't know what that is, and a, but I know they're cherries. So, oops, Millie's just decided to join us. Okay, uh, and they are uh, clear around the edges, the stickers. Oh, are you wanting to go back out again? She doesn't like doors being closed. Oh, she's watching my umbrella that I've got on the door handle. So, yeah, so if you just peel the stickers, I'll show you. They're actually clear around the edges. So when you put it on your, to your project, it's going to be clear. It's not going to show. It will just be the drilled area, the actual uh, part of the sticker that's uh, drilled that will show on your project. You're not going to have any white edges or anything. So that's really good. Yeah, they're really nice. And then you get all your crystals. So we have brown and gold and two types of blue and another gold there and a very very pale champagne gold there and then we have oh, two types of pink which that'll be your flamingo possibly and your black there your greens for your leaves your red which is possibly watermelon and oh look at that very deep ruby red there and your clear crystal like an amber crystal and then a clear crystal which has like a darker coating on it so that's your colours there, so they're really good, I like those. Okay, so we've a few different things in this package. We've had the freebie stickers, which is always nice to get a little gift. We've had our lovely little Westie, or my little half. We've had uh, a stamp there, a clear stamp. Uh, we've had your sealers. And we've had your huge tub of crystal that's it. So, okay, well, that's everything from me today. So thanks for stopping by. If you've enjoyed the video, please give me a like. Um, it helps me with the YouTube ratings. It starts sharing me about a bit more if I get more uh, interaction. Um, and if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try and answer them. And then if you want to see me again, then subscribe. Okay, that's all the newsletters at the end. <laughs> thanks for watching. See you all again soon. Bye for now.